tip for you on your morning maintenance. It's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear and I'm going to show you today how to drain the boiler on a heat exchanger machine. This would kind of apply to a single boiler as well, like a Sylvia or something like that. But in any case, we're using this one. Why would you want to drain it? If you're shipping it in for repair, this most likely is going to end up in a cargo hold in an airplane, even in the summer. It is cold up there at 30, 35,000 feet. Drain it, and if you don't, it will freeze. <clears throat> and as you know, frozen water expands. It will burst your boiler. How much does that cost? A lot. So you don't want to do that. So the other thing is if you're leaving for an extended period of time, you want to just get the water out of there so it's not sitting in there getting all gnarly. This is how you do it. Get it up to temperature, then shut it off. Take all the pieces off. We don't need any of this stuff rattling around because we're going we're gonna to tip this over. Take off the everything. Everything that can come off, take it off. <clears throat> then we're going to tip this machine on its side and I've got some towels here to give it a soft landing so you don't scratch it. Let's see if we're in the right spot. Not too bad. All right, I hope you can see that. You know, in previous times I haven't done this, but I am going to open this up to let the water out, and I'm going to open this up. Hot. Don't get scalded. Don't get burned. <clears throat> so, there we are. You have to make sure when the machine is on that it's totally up to temperature because without that pressure that's inside the boiler, it's not going to force the water out. It's just not going to happen. So, I think we're done. Tip it back up carefully. Put it back on its feet. We're done. It's empty. I opened this up because it's like anything else. As water is coming out of something, the air has to go in. That allows the air to go in there and get the water out of the E61 brew head is kind of my theory on that. Um, you can tip it to the other side and try to get some out of here, but I don't think you'll get a, you know, no more than a couple of drops. So that's really all you have to do. You're good to go. And then the next time when you come back or get to the repair center, they're going to put the water tank back in and this is going to go, when you flip the switch on, it's going to go to autofill. Fill up that boiler again so it doesn't burn it up. That's your morning maintenance for today. Drain it if you're going to ship it in for uh, any kind of repair. And also drain it if you're going to be gone for an extended period of time, like months. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel because you know you like us. Thumbs up. And thanks for watching. Have a good day.